Welcome to Crotone Entertainment. I'm Chris. And I'm Bree. And this is the first time we've done a continuation of an episode. It do. Uh, we're going to pull out some Dead White working on that Hero Quest Barbarian we started on. Our, our intention was to make the fur around his wrappings and whatnot uh, kind of white with that um, apothecary white we used in the last episode. So we're going to pull out our Dead White and we're just going to go touch this up and we're going to get some real nice white fur around his ankles and his uh, elbows. Uh, and basically, everywhere there's the fur. So we're doing this because. We were woefully, woefully, that's not a great phrase. We were incredibly surprised to see that in a very, very short time, the Hero Quest Barbarian painting video became our most viewed video so far. Not saying that the numbers we had were huge, because they're not, but it was huge for us. We, we, so, we were uh, flabbergasted. And I was frankly embarrassed by that miniature. Uh, and and he was a slap job. He was so Carrick Stone. We're going to pull that out, and all we're going to do is go back over the wrappings that we had painted in the snake bite leather, and we're just going to touch them up so they have another color, another highlight in them. So you're going to see the snake bite leather in the recesses, uh, and you're going to see this Carrick Stone above it. Add a little depth to it. That's all we're doing. We're going back and we're adding depth to this miniature because all I did was slap contrast paints on a barbarian and get our highest number of views. We can do better than that, so we are no longer going to do slap dash hero quest models. I'm actually going to put effort into the hero. Quest models going forward, and we're going to make some good looking models. What if it turns out, though, the people only liked it because it's Slapdash? Well, there's only so many episodes where I can show you, hey, I put a contrast paint on this and did nothing else. So you're going to get bored of it okay. really quick. Yeah, that's so that's why this is Hero Quest episode 1.5 Barbarian Redux. So we go into our Vallejo collection here, and we've got this nice black gray. We're not messing with his hair, we're keeping it black. We're just kind of drawing in some streaks to kind of represent the strands of his hair. Again, this whole video, it's a its a quick little video. We're not breaking any special ground. We're just showing him to take your Barbarian, if you did what we did, and you want him to look uh, better than he does just with contrast. Just, just a hint. Just that, a tiny hint. Just that extra step. Here's how we can do that. We're not going to go back and repaint this whole guy. It's not going to happen. So we're going to go take our Mephiston. Because clearly he's not a uh, high elf from the Warhammer. Line. I have nothing to speak to you about on that subject. <laughs> So we're going to pull out our Mephiston Red, uh, and we're going to go ahead and just paint over his butt flap. Butt flap! So, uh, it's, 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 it's a butt flap. If you guys don't get the joke, butt flap is what it was called in the Brendan Fraser George of the Jungle. Yes. Which was an amazingly funny movie. Oh, my God. Uh, it still is this to this day. We watched Brendan it with our Fraser seven-year-old. It, is it holds up. He refers to his loincloth as a butt flap. Anyway, we're just a traditional highlight. Uh, we're just going over it, leaving the Blood Angels red, or not the Blood Angels, the Flesh Terrors red in the deepest recesses, uh, and we're going to just add this extra layer of uh, extra layer of red. We're going to come back to this, but first we're going to go to our Vallejo Pale Flesh. This was a mistake. This was a bad flesh to use. I have found that I don't like the way most Citadel fleshes go over Citadel contrast paint, Yeah. so I decided to dip into my Vallejo. Well, inside the bottle, this looks darker than it does on a mint. Yeah, it does. So I have actually jumped a little bit too far. With Time this, to back down? With this shade. I do. I, I do have a way to back down later. So this is good. This is a happy little mistake. Oh, are you going to make some happy trees? Yes, this is my barbarian Ross. Oh, he's, he's going to. There are no mistakes, only happy accidents. Uh, yes, yes. The barbarian had an accident. Oh, that'd be a different, that'd be a different kind of game. <laughs> that would be a different kind of game. Pray toward it, Quest. I have the broadsword. <laughs> What's that? That old cartoon? Broadsword, wrath of fire. The, the why is it that British kids all sound like adults? <laughs> <laughs> so I doubled down on this color being too bright by taking another bright color. I took pallid witch flesh, and I just did the absolute tips of his rippling bulges. <gasps> we were called out on rippling bulges. Somebody in the comments. Somebody in the comments said we should not call it rippling bulges. We well, should call what? it muscularity. I I no I'm no. sorry. I respect we, we, I respect, respect your, your opinion. opinion. I also respect your right to be wrong about that. Yeah, it is because definitely. they are rippling bulges. <laughs> <laughs> where did we Where did we start saying? What was I painting where we said rippling bulges? The first uh, time? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. So we're just I doing. Feel like it was one of the Power Rangers. It was minis. absolutely one of the Power Rangers minis. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe we've painted other minis. It doesn't matter. I you know it's other stuff. It doesn't matter at this point. All model I muscles like are rippling. I love that we get to pay so much attention to his toesies. I love that we just rant about things, and there is a, albeit very small, group of people who actually care about us ranting about things. We don't write scripts. No. You're new to the channel from our Hero Quest. We don't write scripts. We just rant. Uh, peek behind the curtain. 
We're using our, our ion breaker here. Yep, so this give is the, a highlight so on the metal. This is the same metal we used to do the sword in the first place. Mm -hmm. But then we washed over it with a couple of things. We're just doing the tip of the sword, mm -hmm. uh, the edges of the sword, and then kind of right down the middle where there's that little crease. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do it, but you guys know why I'm giggling. Oh, my God. <laughs> He said it, not me. Anyway, here's how I do these these videos. I paint miniatures, and then I just slap the clips together. I put in little blurry transitions, and then Bree has not seen the miniature process at all, and we just hit record, and we start ranting. And it is very, very rare that we go back and fix anything we rant about unless it goes completely off the rails. And even then, we're not quick to really... I don't edit. I don't like to. I've lost video clips and been like, ah, here's what I did on those clips. We are if not If you want to see that, go watch one of our Doc Ock clips. Uh, well, Doc Ock's not going to be released until this Wednesday. This is coming out on Tuesday. Well, um, tomorrow, watch Doc Ock and uh, see why. So anyway, we got the Evil Sun Scarlet. Um, same thing. We're just doing an additional layer Wait, of red. Are we going back for the Rune Fang Steel again? We go, no, we didn't do Rune Fang Steel yet. We did Iron Breaker. Oh, we did Iron The Iron Rune Fang Steel is just going on the very raised tips of the gold. It's ah. actually going to layer our gold. So just itty-bitty little lines of the Rune Fang Steel. Because at, at a distance, that, that highlights gold as almost a sheen. That evil sun scarlet, uh, you can see it on the butt flap there from when we turned around. It it's just on the it's just on the very tips and edges. Then we're gonna pull out this Kador red highlight. It's actually an orange, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obs. Obs. And we're just gonna do this on some of the absolute extreme points on the butt flap, and all of that's just gonna add just that little extra hint of depth. And it takes no time at all to do it. The worst it takes is a slightly steady hand. And. Again, most of these colors that we are mentioning here are good colors to just have um, for if you're painting the Rangers or with us or if you were painting. Well, since, since we're running out of time, I'm going to interrupt you really quick with a quick thought. With a quick thought. You don't need a lot of colors to paint things. Go back to our totally terrifying Terror Toad video where I paint an entire Terror Toad from Power Rangers in 50 cent craft paints. And he comes out amazing. And he comes out phenomenal. And you'll see that we do that just by mixing colors. You don't need a lot of colors. So our final step, because I told you this guy is just the whitest guy ever. <laughs> we took our Reichling Flesh Shade to darken that up. Bri, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but you can see on the thing now we are running out of video time here. So check out Totally Terrifying to see how you can do your minis with 50 cent craft paints, just mixing them together. You don't need a huge palette. But there we go. We have updated our Barbarian. This is our Barbarian Redux. We take a simple contrast job and we make it into a pretty striking miniature, especially when you put it on the tabletop to play and again Hero Quest. And there we go. We'll be back with more Hero Quest this Friday. Like and subscribe for more content. Hit the bell button for notification. We will see you next time. Bye!